Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I got startled. Uh, I'm here today to share um, some cards that I created. Um, I have two birthdays coming up, so I'm going to upload this on Saturday for Saturday Morning Makes. Um, hosted by Jill Norwood here on YouTube. And I'll have her link down below. Um, as I said in a um, couple videos back that I was going to um, create more and um, do more videos and, and stuff. Those are my crafty goals and, and use my stash. And um, and I think I'm doing pretty good so far. I, you know, I, I think just like uh, resolutions, we do very good in the first month. And then it starts <laughs> windling down um, throughout the year. So I'm optimistic. I'm trying to do my very best to create more and um, do more. Um, so, um, like I said before, I have two birthdays coming up. Um, both are for my brother and my husband's nephew and i don't know about you <laughs> every time i come to my come in my craft room and i i sit down and i make a masculine card i'm stumped i am totally stumped and it's i think it's because i do not buy things that are masculine um yeah i i don't um because stamps now are more geared to hobbies like fishing or hunting or baseball or you know masculine things and don't get me wrong that's fine i just don't have family members that are obsessed with hunting and fishing and football and baseball and things like that if I did, it would be a lot easier, I think. Um, and I just don't have a lot of masculine stamps. I, I don't know why. So with that, I always tend to pull papers that are masculine. And, um, and I try to put them together. And I so struggle every single time. And I wish companies would come out with, uh, more masculine um, stamps or dye. I mean, I know Tim Holtz. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tim Holtz is great and his style is vintage and stuff. But sometimes you, um, um, like my brother, the first time I made him a vintage card, he goes, "What are you, what are you trying to say? I'm, I'm old." <laughs> Uh, so anyway, and I love vintage. I love making vintage cards and stuff. So anyway, so let me know if you guys <laughs> struggle with masculine cards just as much as I do. And when you look at my cards, you're going to go, yeah, Therese, you, <laughs> you too. <laughs> um, so like I said, I just used papers from my stash. Um, and then I used this. Um, happy birthday stamp that I got I don't paper craft oh this must be from Hobby Lobby I think I got it on sale um so I use that let's see and I use things from my stash so let me show you my first card so it's an A2 size card it's um five and a half by four and a quarter and I used black cardstock. Um, I layered the papers. Oh, this this paper came from, and it's an old DCWV paper. I think it's a DCWV. Yes, <laughs> it's an old um, paper mat stack. Is what they used to call them back then. Um, so I, I still have this and it, you know, to me, grunge, um, 
anything that looks, you know, vintage, you know, the colors are masculine and so forth, right? So I use that paper pad. I use, and this is it. Um, I used tape that I, um, that I made, um, oh, gosh, okay, that's just not sticking, um, and I love the look, I love the look of this, okay, um, and then I stamped, <clears throat> happy birthday, I inked the edges, and then I used my, um, speckled um stamp from stampin up and that's it that's all that's all i did and why do i struggle with these i just don't know i just do okay so here's another card um so <laughs> i did some layering i even tore um the edges and rolled the paper we used to do this I don't know if people are still doing this, but I remember back in the day when we were first crafting and we were doing mini albums and, and this was a really popular technique and some crafters would put like lace in the back, you know, something peeking out. It was really cool. So I was like, I felt like tearing and I did a little bit of it. I even inked the edges um, with vintage photo and walnut stain. Um, did the same thing. Um, this is um, that paper from this paper pad. Um, and I do love how that looks in the light. Wow. <laughs> um, this is a die cut that I think somebody gave me. I have it in a little bowl of just uh, little bitty um, die cuts and I'll show you because <laughs> it's right here so it's just a little bowl of um, all kinds of die cuts that people have sent me um, and I have it on my desk to pull and to look through while I'm creating um, did the same thing oh and I also pop dotted I pop dotted on here as well so I do like how this looks it you know Simple, but yet masculine. <laughs> as my as my voice went up, I I'm, I'm still struggling. I uh, added a piece of paper on the inside and make my sentiment. I think I had I had some ink or um, something over here. That's why I covered it up. Um, but I do like how that looks. So these are my two cards for Saturday morning make. Uh, two masculine cards. Uh, I need to make more. Maybe that's the problem. I only make them occasionally and I make more um, uh, feminine cards. Um, so yeah. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a great Saturday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.